I just want to make sure that I'm live in all the right places. Um, hop over on the Paint Pixie page. Yeah, I see me there. And then I want to hop over on my page and see if I see me there. Don't see me there yet. Hopefully it'll come up. There we go. I see me there also. So hi folks. Hope you're having a great Sunday afternoon. <clears throat> My name is Amanda. I'm a Simply Flames in Art. And I love to teach folks how to paint, how to create all different kinds of art. And so um, painting is my passion, but I love to do all forms of art. So when you hop on, say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. Today, we are going under the sea. And we're going to paint an ocean friend. Last week on my page, Simply Flames and Art, if you want to join in, we painted every day and we did a friend under the sea. You can see some of them hanging up here behind me. Um, I have a couple. I don't know where they went. Oh, yeah, they're right there. And so it's all to get ready for my painting retreat. You can go over my page and learn all about it. But we are painting this sea turtle. And... We are painting this mermaid and we're doing a functional piece of art that is a bag. And so that's what we're doing over on my page. So I hope y'all are having a great Sunday and we're just going to keep with the theme and we're going to paint a little, I just kind of like drew out a quick little, um, octopus we'll see what it ends up looking like before we're done right now he's not so cute hey Josie from Prescott Arizona hi Diane hey Christy Saber on my page we're gonna swap here thank you thank you I'll have to show you all of them all of my friends of the sea were painted with Paint Pixie Paints. And you could legit just, uh, let me post my new link. This is my affiliate link, guys. If I inspire you to get some paints or some, oh no, I don't like every brush I have upstairs. <laughs> ah, anyway, I knew that was going to happen. Um... I knew I didn't have something and I kept thinking, what is it I don't have? And all of my paintbrushes, I mean, like all of them are upstairs. Okay, Amanda, this was not smart. <laughs> anyway, we will make do, right? I've got, and my palette knives are up there. So wonderful. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Save the day. I can make, I can use, this actually is probably a good thing because what happens if you only have these brushes and you don't have the artist brushes? Ooh, Amanda, you're going to challenge yourself today, girlfriend. But that's okay because you know what? Sometimes we don't have all the things. Or sometimes, you know, we're creating in some limited space and we don't have all of the things of our studio. So... I'm going to pull out a few things here that I think I will need, maybe. And we will get started. Ugh, nothing like a good old challenge to start the day off when you're like, okay. <laughs> I want to use the Paint Pixie products, right? I mean, that's the thing. And so... I got my affiliate link out there. I just need to, um, I need to pin it, pin it to win it, as they say, right? Um, I don't know who says that, <laughs> but anyway, that's just me being crazy. Let me find it. It's right there. Whoops. I love how when you click on something and it doesn't give you the option. There we go. There we go. Hey, D. Hey, Brenda. Oh, Christy moved over to the Paint Pixie page. Y'all are all here with me. Thank you. Thank you. 
when you hop on if you're new to me my name is amanda i'm with simply the amazing art and we have got a little challenge today because i left all my artist brushes upstairs i was working on a recording and i had them all up there and well <laughs> here we are all right so let's just make the best of it right and i um but all my little friends this whole week that I have been painting from under the sea friends so we did I will if I have time at the end I will show you all of them we did a seahorse we did a uh, lobster we did a um, crab whose name is crazy Charlie I name all of my I name all of my stuff, all of my animals. I shouldn't say stuff. I name all my animals. And we give them like a little funny name. And so we had a little seahorse that was called Slim. He, his name was um, Slim Shady. Shady Slim Shady. What was his name? Slim Shady. Because he was a little shady. Um, and he wouldn't give up where the, um, where the pearl was. We were searching for that pearl. And then we did some jellyfish who were, we named Larry, Mo, and Curly. Because they were just uncontrollable. And then we had the crab that was uh crazy charlie his name is crazy charlie the crab they are so cute aren't they well we've been doing this to get ready for the paint and retreat that i'm having this week on my page if y'all want to learn more about that you can go to um my page simply for amazing art and you will see a post on there about it <laughs> So I'm using the color of the month, which is Car Caribbean Cooler. I am using Tropical Dream and a little bit of um, Blackberry. So, and we're going to create kind of our ocean color. And I'm just going to paint on top. If I see my lines, great. If not, it's okay. He's not the best drawn out octopus anyway. And we're going to have to come up with a name for our octopus, but we've been using these colors all week on all of our friends. And so you could probably pick up four or five colors and paint every one of these pieces. And I'm giving the tracers for these pieces for those that join the paint and retreat. So not only do you get the tracer and supply list for the um the turtle and mermaid you also are going to get a bonus tracers for all of these little friends of this sea collection that we are doing so it's an awesome deal Plus, we're going to have lots of fun. It's through Zoom. It's interactive. Yeah, I'm ready for it, too. Although, after this week, I might be a little bit waterlogged. <laughs> I might be a little waterlogged. So, we're going to just give this a dry. So we did find the pearl on Friday. We got the pearl. Hey, Sherry, how are you? Hello, I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> My Siri loves it when I say the word Sherry. She always comments how fine she is. 
I need to know, order some more colors. Okay, um, so I use the, I will tell you what I use for all my friends. So Caribbean Cooler is the color of the month. Tropical Dream is the light, is this color. Very light teal. And then I use the Blackberry Cobbler, which is the dark navy. And then I've used some greens. I have used uh, probably if you get the sour apple, that's that's the main one I've used to just get a little green in there. We'll put a little green on this one. And then I've used lemon crinkle and candy papaya. And so, oh, that's not, that's candy apple, sorry, candy papaya. So they're like the main colors I have been using um, throughout these this whole series. Um, and so that's what I've been doing. I kind of thought about putting purple on our little, um, our friend today. And y'all tell me, y'all tell me, I know you're going to get this can multitask really, really well. And so is known for their ability to multitask. So what friend of the ocean are we doing today? And if I told you, like a couple of people probably already know, y'all can't guess. Because <laughs> y'all know. Because I already told you. We're going to put just a little hint of some green in. And that's kind of like no cheating if you already know, right? I just like to break up that blue a little bit, right? And have just a little something else. I don't know. Because, you know, it gets kind of deep. So... But I'd appreciate it if you're going to order some or if I inspire you to order some that you click that link. We're just going to get a little bit of that on just to break up our ocean water a little bit. We are, we are deep in it. Just a little bit of lightness at the top because that's going to be like kind of like at the top of our ocean. Maybe some light is coming in. I don't know. We're going to cover up most of this anyway because our friend is going to take a lot. So I don't have any guesses as to what I'm doing. So if um, what sea creature can multitask? I can't believe no one. No one is going on to answer. <laughs> I think it's a great clue too you didn't see sour apple it should be out there That's right, an octopus, because he has all arms. Exactly. Look how many hands he's got. He should be able to multitask, like, all over the place, right? And just because, you know, the little mermaid and all of that, I did grab a little bit of figgy pudding. You know, because I, you told me, yes, I know. I told you. That's why I was like, if you know, you can't answer because you already know. But that's all right. I'm going to get a little blues and purples going together here. Y'all know how I love to mix those colors. And then we're going to add a little pop of an unexpected color also. But we're just going to get a little bit of an octopus on and if you're like why are you using such a big brush well I left, left all my artist brushes upstairs where I was recording 
And so I do a lot of my like recordings upstairs because then my little boy, he can be out playing, driving me crazy. Um, <laughs> while I do my recordings. And so that's what I was doing. So that's his head. They are quite intelligent. And we're just going to kind of, we got to do eight of them, right? So we can't like mess up and, and forget how many we're doing. <laughs> of all the times to leave your brushes upstairs, Amanda, when you need to do like eight tiny legs. <laughs> It's okay, I swear. It's going to be just fine. We're going to create an awesome octopus. And this just goes to show you, don't ever let a brush prevent you from creating. Because you can legit like pick up anything and create with it. <laughs> Any kind of brush. <laughs> so we got three. Make that just a little bit bigger. And that's four. <laughs> this is on a six by six. If you're wondering what size canvas I'm working on, it's on a six by six. All of my little friends have either been on a six by six or a six by 12. And so I thought I've done uh, three on a six by 12 and I thought why not three on a six by six so that's why I picked a six by six for this little guy it did it stopped raining the sun is out today although they're calling for rain to start in a little bit I'm like I'm, I'm, I'm over the rain guys but I know that there are parts of the country that are like um begging for rain and I hate to say I'm over it here but ooh, we've had rain for what six days something like that I'm just using this blue the the dark blue so the uh, blackberry cobbler the figgy pudding and a little bit of the marshmallow just to get like some variation in all of this as we work these colors in. So it's kind of just doing the job for me. Oh no. Brenda, y'all be careful. Girlfriend, be, be careful. That's scary. I hate when I get things like that here. It makes me... Makes me nervous. Oh, wow. Y'all are getting warm up there in Michigan. 90 degrees. My sister is in Michigan. They're up there. They were headed from Sandusky today over to Detroit area. So... Both of her kids skate on a on a theater on ice team and they are at nationals um this week and so they are up there 
getting ready for a competition. I think the competition starts on Tuesday. They left uh, Friday and stopped in um, Cleveland, Ohio, and had dinner at this place that was called the Haunted House Restaurant. And then they went over uh, to Cedar Point after they ate dinner in Sandusky. They went to Sandusky everywhere Cedar Point is. And yesterday they spent it at Cedar Point. My family, we all love roller coasters. So they are, they were very happy. My niece and my nephew, there's nothing that they won't ride. The bigger, the taller, the faster. It's just the better. And so, now Christy's in Illinois. I'm sorry, I got it confused. D is in Michigan. Yes, we are supposed to get some weather. That's what I said. They're calling for more rain later. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know if storms are involved with it. I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> But they might be. Oh, thank you for tagging people. Thank you so much. So that's our little octopus friend. Now we're going to have some fun with him. And, you know, this is where we have fun. You find no joy in being scared. I don't find any joy. I like roller coasters now. Love me some roller coasters. I've, oh, well, I won't say I've always. Um, it, there was a period in my life where I did not like roller coasters. But it's been, a, that's been a long time ago. I've always loved roller coasters for a long time. But I don't do them as much now. I guess I'm older and I'm like, <laughs> they might hurt me. <laughs> I might get hurt. <laughs> All right. We're going to see if we can do this with this brush. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. Because I got a product I'm going to put on them. Actually, I take that back. Come on, do that now. Or do I want to put the, let's see. Maybe it would help to know where. So let's see if we can do this. We're going to come in with some suction cups, right? Because they have these like... They don't have to be perfect. I want them to be a little bit, not quite that bright. That's okay, because I'm actually going to use the product over top of them. Actually, I like it when I just, when I don't overthink it. You know, sometimes you can overthink things. I don't know about you, but I can overthink things. And make it 10 times harder than what it is. <laughs> like just touch your brush down and let the suction cups do themselves. Let the suction cups figure themselves out, right? <laughs> I know I am too. I can I can overthink anything. Like okay. You can't see the descent down. Yeah. I tell you what, they they would those two, my sister too, my sister 
they were they were raised um the kids were like with us going and riding all the roller coasters and like they couldn't wait until they were tall enough to ride them and so the bigger the faster like i said the more they're on it you like the kitty rides <laughs> I think it's fun. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those things. Oh, when you get a little older, you're like, I don't know. I don't know about this. Other my mom and my dad, they still ride them. They are still uh, riders. Now, this product that I'm going to use is a product I carry in my store. It's a new product that I just got, but I'm kind of like semi in love with it. Um, it's called Expand Paste. And what I want to do is just put a little bit. It doesn't have to be much because it's going to expand all on its own. But I want to put it on these we're going to have to repaint them. We're going to have to touch them up. So I was like, do I want to put this first or do I want to put that? But I think having the little spots just kind of helps guide me where I want to put this. And so just, just put a little bit. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. Come on. Act great. So we use like four or five colors, right? So I use the Caribbean Cooler, which is the color of the month. This month is almost up, guys. I can't wait. There's a new kit coming. Can't tell you about it, but I can't wait to show you. But there's a mystery, uh, Josie, are the mystery boxes still available? There's a mystery kit. How fun is that? You don't even know. It's like a little Christmas gift in the mail, right? You don't even know what they are. You just, just order it and you get some cool stuff. That you can then just create whatever. And so I could not think of a better thing to put on this. And y'all, when you see what this is going to do, it is so incredibly cool. I'm like excited. Then we'll have to repaint it, but we're going to get some. Pretty crazy stuff. But I'm like, hey, how can we do a mermaid? And all of our mermaid friends that we've done and not do an octopus. Now I know the octopus, she wasn't always nice. She's not really nice, is she? But that's okay. You know, each their own, right? Each their own. And just because I want a little bit, I'm going to put just a little bit up here. There really won't be suction cups up here. This will look a little more like a barnacle type thing. But just give a little texture on that head. I don't want to get it where I'm going to put the ab, though. Lots of stuff in the mystery kit. More than your other kits. Ooh, cool. Yep, when I apply heat to this. Oh, I bet your I bet the rain is good for tomatoes. Just don't let their feet get wet. Don't let their feet stay wet. Tomatoes don't like wet feet. But they love rain. Thank you, Christy. 
I got to let this heat gun get hot. And I mean, this is like 400 degrees. So I've got it set at 400. And y'all going to see what's going to happen when I apply heat to this. Well, Sherry, I'll tell you, I got this one. It's called Seek One Heat Gun. I love it. The Seek Ones are really nice, but I love this one because you can set, with these controls, you can set your exact temperature that you want. And this thing gets super duper hot. Yours are early compared to ours, yeah. Well, it sort of depends on when you plant them and how big they are to start with when you plant them. If you started from seeds or if you grew your seeds in like a greenhouse. Can you see? Can you see the bumps I've got? See where it expanded? See that? You buy plants, yeah. And they're dry to the touch. And so when it heats up, it gets, I'm going to put a little bit more right there on areas that I didn't have enough or it dried too much before I got it with the heat. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. Plus, I had a little extra sitting on my palette knife while I waste it, right? That stuff will just keep expanding. Like I'm going back over some that I already thought I had gotten all the expansion I was getting. And I'm actually getting more expansion. So you just have to be patient with it for a minute. It has to get hot. It's kind of like embossing powder. You know how you have to let your embossing powder get hot. It can just be warm. I did use this on the shell on Friday. I did. That's how I got those like barnacle looking things on the shell. 
And so, all right, now that we have that, we're just going to go back over them, right? A little bit of that figgy pudding with a little bit of that white. I want it to be just a little lighter in color. And we're just going to tap, tap, tap right over top of them so we don't have white. But yeah, it's going to, that white is going to keep it from being the color of what we have underneath. So it's going to stand out. But how cool is that? The perfect thing when you want to make I mean it's it's great for a lot of things, but <laughs> especially great for when you want to make uh little suction cups that like poke out on your on your octopus, right? <laughs> And hitting them with paint does not knock them down. Now there's some that you may give a little bit, but it pops right back up because air is in them, and so it'll it'll pop down a little bit. But for the most part, it just pops right back on up. And the really tall ones, I'm okay if they pop down a little bit because. I didn't really want them up quite that high. Ah, uh, no, you don't need it next week. No, no, not for the paint and retreat. You don't. This is just a new product that I got in that I'm like just playing with, having a lot of fun with it, really. All right, our little octopus needs eyes, right? I really don't even know what octopus eyes look like or where they are on the octopus. So, so if I get this wrong, guys, just give me a little grace in the fact that I don't really know what an octopus where an octopus eyes are. <laughs> so, we're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna use a little bit of black. And I just figure, like, I'm going to put two eyes. Because, of course, they, their mouth is underneath. And so... We're just going to pop an eye up on there. <laughs> Thank you for sprinkling the love. I think why not, right? So I'm just going to take a little bit of this black and I'm just going to kind of separate out just by tapping a little bit in there and separating out some of our legs, right? And so again, this is a little big of a brush, but it's all going to be okay. This is just a little whimsical. Octopus, nothing to. And their octopus isn't mean. Like in the Little Mermaid. This is a friendly octopus. We don't need mean octopuses. Girl ones have eyelashes. Okay, Christy. Uh, 
of all the time to my eyelashes. We'll see what we can do. He's adorable. Thank you. And just because I want to use a little bit of that orange papaya and I want to use a little bit of the colors just to pull some of the colors from the other paintings um, because we just, you know, we want these to be as like a little set, right? Or at least that's, that's kind of what I want is to be able for them all to kind of go. Um, I know, right? <laughs> right, Josie? We got this. We got this. I'll pick up a little bit of orange and I'm just going to give just a few little orange dots. On our octopus. Just because we're using this papaya throughout all of our pieces. I think every piece has a little bit of this on it. And that way it just kind of pulls in those colors. just gives us just another little touch of color in there. How cute is he or she? Christy done threw down the thing and been like, you need eyelashes. My girlfriend, you can see what I'm working with here. <laughs> but challenge accepted. We don't necessarily have to paint with the brush, right? All right, Amanda, work with me just a little bit here, palette knife. I'm like, yeah, she does have a little bit of a skin um, condition, but she's been in the ocean for a long time. And so, you know, that tends to lead to skin conditions. Um, you would think it with the palette knife. Yeah, I was like, there's no way I can do it with that big knife, but the palette knife now. I don't know. Maybe she didn't need all that. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't needed. Or if it is, make it a little bigger. So it actually looks like an eyeball. I don't 
don't know. Maybe their eyes are kind of like um, sharks. They can roll back in their head. I have no idea. But we're just going with it. You know, this is just supposed to be like fun, right? Whimsical and fun. And so it is not supposed to be like, oh, this is a realistic octopus, guys. I mean, it's realistic in the fact that it has like eight legs. That's the only thing realistic about it. <laughs> she looking cute. But we got a cute little octopus in like 45 minutes. Goodness sakes. Y'all, I don't think I've ever been early on that pay pixie. Y'all write this down. I can I can complete a painting in 45 minutes. <laughs> And so, and do it without my artist brushes. Y'all, write it down. Because I'm never on time. I'm always over my time when I'm on Paint Pixie. I'm always like, is it going to, like, anybody after me? Is this going to take longer than I anticipated? That's usually what I'm asking Josie at about this time. And right now it's like I'm done and but I'll show you my other friends that this one goes with. And she's gonna be so cute. She's gonna fit right in with all my other friends. We have to name her. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure how this was gonna go. I was like, ooh, all my stuff. Oh my brushes. Last time I took them up there, I was like, you cannot forget to bring these back downstairs. Felicia, I like that. Flashy Felicia. Because <laughs> she's flashy with all of her stuff. I should put a little bit of glimmer up on her. I could add a little bit of bling to her and then she would be flashy Felicia. I can. I got 10 whole minutes. I can do that. Add a little bit of my embossing powder to her. We did this the other day. Let's see. What do we want? Um, the sparkle is really pretty. And that bridal was really pretty, wasn't it? Oh, I need my, my tacky glue here. Sorry, I had to stand up there and get my reach and get my stuff. Probably not the prettiest view of me, but that is what it is. Now, this stuff is sticky. It's gluey. It's tacky. I'm not putting any of my good brushes up in this stuff. Okay? So, I just pick a an old brush that I don't care that much about. I mean, it washes out. And I will definitely wash it out. And we'll just put this on areas where we want her to just have a little bit of bling. We'll, we'll put it up here. Okay, that sounded 
Like, I don't know what. <laughs> Some upstairs fail. <laughs> it wasn't Kai, though. Although I have a funny Kai and Yo-Yo story to tell y'all. You know, Kai is my dog. He's a Border Collie that's 18 months old. And um, my cat, his name is Yo-Yo. And he is, um, I don't know how old he is. I've had him for a few years. And they, for the most part, you know, love each other. And all. Um, but I, I work from home. And I have this little counter that's like, oh, kind of like on the other side of my kitchen that I sit at. And, you know, like, have my computer and all of that. Um, and that's also where Yo-Yo's food is. So, Kai can't get into his food. Anyway. And so, his Kai's water bowl is kind of sitting off on the side of it. And anyway. Well... Kai, I had left my phone kind of just sitting on the counter near, kind of near the edge, but, but not at the same time. I mean, it wasn't on, right on the edge. Kai goes, uh, Yo-Yo's over there eating his food. And Kai goes to get some water out of his bowl. Well, Yo-Yo runs over about that he sees Kai coming about the time Kai gets to his bowl yo-yo runs over and just swipes my phone right off the counter and bings yo-yo in the head I mean bings Kai in the head just bings him right in the head sneak peek a pearl oh that'd be kind of cool too I can do that metallic grits and so then we have this sparkling powder that I'm going to use and I'm going to use another brush that doesn't have the glue on it now normally with um, powders like this you like sprinkle it on but because I want a little mixture I'm going to use my brush and I'm just going to pick up some and I'm just going to tap, tap, tap it down where I have put, this is the sparkling. And I'm just going to put it on some of them. And then I'm going to come back with the bridal because I like both of them. Anyway, so Kai got hit in the head by my cell phone. And it was all Yo-Yo's fault. Yo-Yo was pretty proud of himself. Like, it was clearly planned. I know, poor Kai. <laughs> I was like, I did not just witness that. <laughs> I got after Yo Yo. <laughs> so he should know better than to do that again. I had to get after him. It's like, that's not how you treat your brother. Yo Yo, Yo, -Yo was pretty proud of himself, though. I was like, I just did not witness that. A new way to use embossing powders, right? Maybe not new. I don't know. Maybe you've done this a million times. I have not done this with my artwork before. I've used it on cards and on scrapbooking. And things like that. But I had never thought to use it like this. 
but again this you want to make sure before you turn on your heat you've got your tops on because it's like teeny fine micas and it's gonna blow everywhere but you need heat Heat to activate. And it just kind of melts. It melts the little fibers. The little mica-like looking things. It just melts them. That's what that heat does. And I did not use embossing inks because, of course, with your artwork, you can't necessarily use it unless you have stamp or maybe if you had a bottle of it, you could use a paintbrush. But I didn't need it. I just needed my little tacky glue that it sticks to. And that's all you need. I have these on my website too, the embossing powders. But they were a great combination with the paint pixie paints. It all works together. But don't use your good paint pixie brushes if you're using glues or um well, I would just say mainly glues. Like if you're using like the glue like I just used or, you know, like a textile decoupage glue. Don't, I mean, you don't need decoupage glue when you're using Paint Pixie because you can use their Meltdown and their um, Force Field because they're great. Oh, I like the bling. That's just what she needed. And because we got three minutes left. I know I've got one here somewhere. That's a big one. I got a big pearl. Now, I'm going to actually... Um, use my Caribbean cooler on the side of this so like I said even if you don't have your artist brushes don't let it stop you from creating beautiful art Her name should be Pearl Jam. <laughs> I love that. Pearl Jam. I kind of liked, uh, what did I say? Flashy Fiona? Felicia. Felicia. Flash, flashy Felicia. Pearl Jam is funny, though. Completely funny. Y'all tell me, what are we going to name her? Is she flashy Felicia or is she Pearl Jam? We'll name her together. Y'all vote. I got one for each vote. I think it was Sherry who said flashy Felicia. Y'all, I like to tip my edges, so 45 degree angle, come in, 
and just swipe down the sides. We got, okay, we're back to Pearl Jam, Flashy Felicia. So we got two and two. Okay. Y'all, I don't put these in water. I don't like set them over in my water. I don't do any of my wooden handle ones that way because I don't want the water to soak up into the wood and they will do that. And so don't do that. Okay. I'm going to dry this really good because I want to, um, all right, what happened to my, nothing like setting my thing down and turning my, uh, extension thing off. I'm going to take the heat down because I don't want it to activate anymore. I got to attach my pearl. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to attach my pearl. Oh, I'm one minute over. I thought I was going to end on time. And now I'm one minute over. Yeah. We need a name, guys. All right, we got two for Flashy Felicia. And we've got two for Pearl Jam. We need a tiebreaker. And so I'm going to actually use a product called Quick Coat. And this is like an epoxy in many ways in the fact that it will hold this on. Um, people use this for like cups, you know, you see those like um, epoxy cups where they put the glitter on. They use this for like adding the glitter and then they put a coat of this because this dries in like 15 minutes. And so then they can quickly add multiple coats without having to wait the whole 24 hours. But this is thick enough and strong enough that it will hold this pearl on without me having to mix up, um, without me having to mix up uh, epoxy, right? And so without me having to mix up resin. And so, I'm just gonna pour it on. Take an old brush. Do not use one of your good paint pixie brushes for this, guys. Because this stuff is, is like no joke. Um, it will ruin a brush. And so it's kind of like getting resin on your brushes, which you don't want, right? Kind of that exact same thing. And so the last thing you want is resin on your good brushes. Don't get it in your hair either. <laughs> you don't want it in your hair. No more than you want it on your brush. Because it results in the same thing. Although your hair you don't throw away, you just cut it off. <laughs> and then it gets thrown away. <laughs> So it does dry clear. It's a little milky when you first uh, pour it on. Notice that this one difference about this is there is no mix. It's like ready to go right out of the bottle. Um, I ordered this from Amazon. And so I do like it if you don't want to have to do the whole resin thing. You can just put this on. Now, it's not strong enough to hold glass. So if you want to put glass on your pieces, this is not what you want, okay? It's not strong enough for glass. It may not even be strong enough for this pearl. This pearl might be um, a little too big for it, but we're going to see. It might not have enough surface area, but I have, but I have like, 
put down uh, Totally Dazzle Bling before with it. And it does just fine. But of course that's flatter. And so we may not. It's called Quick Coat. That's what it's called. Um, it's as shiny. like It's not quite as shiny as resin because it's not as thick. But yes, it is a shine. It, it is shiny. Um, you've seen me use it before. I used it on Matilda with the frog. I've used it on the nutcracker that I did. Um, you've seen, you've seen, um, it before. Um, but yeah, it's, we'll see. It should be strong enough now. If you push on it really hard, it's going to fall off. But for the most part, it should be just fine. Um, and so, obviously, I can't, like, hold it up yet because gravity is going to win. But there's our little, look at all that texture that she's got. Look how it stands up off the canvas. And so, that's all of that expand paste. But she's so cute. Triple thick. Yeah, triple thick is more along the lines of a sealer, which is, it's a great sealer. Um for if you want something super duper shiny, um, it's really good because it's really shiny. Um, but it's, um, but I, um, but that won't hold on stuff. Just like I love the force field when it comes to the shine. And the sealing protective, but it's not going to hold on bling. Um, maybe if it was completely flat, it would. But I, I don't think it's, and I'm not even sure if this uh, quick coat is going to actually hold on this pearl. We will see. But anything short, but if that doesn't hold on, then it's going to have to have um, uh, resin on it. And so I just didn't want to have to get into mixing resin because I'm already over my time. But if you want to see our friends, I'll show you our friends. We did all with paint pixie paints. And so here is our seahorse. That's Slim Shady. Here is our little, this has the embossing powders on it. Our Larry Moe and Curly. Um jellyfish oh lord i drew almost a blank there and so that's our little all these were done with paint pixie paints basically the same ones i used tonight now i do have a little brown in this one because i had the little the little wheel the little chest and then like this sailboat um ship that's like in the bottom of the ocean and then we did, I don't know if you can see up there, but we did the, the, what's his name? Spencer, the lobster. And then there is the pearl. This I also used that expand paste on. All of these were done with paint pixie paints. Um, and her artist brushes and their artist brushes that I, so... But I love them and I used my artist brushes all the time. And so I was upstairs filming. And here's that expand paste on the pearl that we did. And so on this one, I have um, her, I have the, um, the pearl -esque, um white sands because it's pearl. So I have that on there. And then... I have um, I have some waxes on here also. Thank you, Cindy. And so these are part of the thing. But anyway, y'all, I had a great time with y'all. I hope you all will join me for the painting retreat. I hope you all will grab some of the Paint Pixie paints. They are awesome. And I hope you love our little octopus with the pearl. And so... Anyway, y'all have a great rest of your Sunday. I will see you sometime soon. 
we will have an event on what is it july 1st saturday july 1st is that right is that july 1st um let me let me let me see yes next saturday i'll see you at the paint pixie event on july 1st so y'all have a great rest of your week and i will see you later bye Oh, dear, you're welcome. Bye.